All right, hey everybody. Good morning. Part two of uh, and we're back. Samuel chapter two. We did not finish because we uh, went down and had breakfast that my lovely wife made, mm-hmm. and we didn't want to, uh, get, you know, leave her there. And it was warm, by the way. Yeah, hot. It was great. All right. So if you're listening, this is uh, Samuel chapter two. We're on verse twenty-seven. A warning for Eli's family. We'll wrap it up here before church at uh, in five minutes. Yeah, and if you finish, I'm sure you went. You're going right into this new one. So here we go. Uh, verse 27. One day, a man of God came to Eli and gave him this message from the Lord. I revealed myself to your ancestors when they were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt. I chose your ancestor Aaron from among all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to offer sacrifices on my altar, to burn incense. And to wear the priestly vest, that's the ephod, as he served me. And I assigned the sacrificial offerings to your to you priests. So why do you scorn my sacrifices and offerings? Why do you give your sons more honor than you give me? For you and they have become fat from the best offerings of my people Israel. Well, They're, who, who is this guy? A, a man I of God. Your ancestors, we don't know. Aaron. Is is this? Yeah, is this Aaron from the past? Nope. This is not. This is a man of God. Could be a Balaam type person who's miss either not in Israel currently, but God is using. It's a prophet, some type of prophet. We don't know his name, but he's coming to Eli and saying, "Look, Eli, I'm warning you." Okay. Right, so this is just a man of God. We don't know his name. And, and and do you think that Eli knows what his sons are doing? Hundred percent. It says right above this, Eli knew that his sons were terrible. Verse, uh, oh, verse twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two. Hold he on. was aware of what his sons were doing to the people of Israel. So he knew. And see, this guy is no. telling Eli, the priest, the high priest. Right, he's saying, "Look." You're not doing anything. You care about your sons more than you care about the most high God. Yeah. Because yeah. if not, you would have stopped what he, you're there doing and done something yeah. different. I don't know what Eli's doing. I mean, at this point, we love Eli. He's an amazing priest, and he's taking in uh, Samuel and raising him. Yep, yep. Um, but right now, Eli, he needs to stand up for God. Right. Well, men have flaws, and but see, God right. warns us sometimes first. Right. He doesn't just strike. Right. He doesn't just suck, open up the hole, and we fall in. He warns us. So Let's see what Eli does here. And notice he's warned everybody all this whole way. Verse Eli. 30. Therefore, the Lord, the God of Israel, this is that man, says, I promise that your branch of the tribe of Levi would always be my priest, but I will honor those who honor me, and I will despise those who think lightly of me. Mm. The time is coming when I will put an end to your family. Oh, that's a that's a prophecy for Jesus. So it will no longer serve as my priests. All the members of your family will die before their time. None will reach old age. You will watch with envy as I pour out prosperity of the people of Israel. But no members of your family will ever live out their days. The few not cut off from serving at my altar will survive but only so their eyes can see, go blind and their hearts break and their children will die a violent death so you ask yourself why sometimes is israel blind mm-hmm. because of their disobedience and dishonoring god mm-hmm. and to prove verse 34 that what i have said will come true i will cause your two sons ophini and Phineas to die on the same day, verse thirty-five. Well, and Gentiles are no different, by the way. No, of course not. So, yeah, this he he doesn't yeah. say my. You, see, this is the thing. Think about this in all of our conversations. Mm-hmm. There's no special rules for Israel mm-hmm. and the Gentiles. They all have to go by the word of God. Right. Right. That's a good point. No special rules. <laughs> verse thirty-five. Then I will raise up a faithful priest. Who will serve me and do what I desire. I will establish his family and will be, and they will be priests to my anointed kings forever. Then all of your surviving family will bow before him, begging for money and food. Please, they will say, give us jobs among the priests so we will have enough to eat. Well, look, I, you know, it's, it's a blessing that God came to, 
Eli. Mm-hmm. It is giving him this direct message. Yeah. Big old warning here. I mean, that's amazing. So that's that's a blessing right there. Eli should be grateful. Like, wow, Lord, thank you for coming to me and, and kind of uh, gut checking me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he needs to fall on his face right now and repent. Right. Look, we'll, we'll end it here because we got church here starting in, uh, well, started right now. Um, so yeah. tomorrow or maybe even later today, Samuel chapter three, we'll yeah. get to. And I, I hope that Eli just falls to his face, like yeah, you said, I hope so. and says, oh, Lord, what do you want me to do with my evil sons? Mm-hmm. I know. And have you noticed the king talk? It's like God's preparing us. He's like, a kings are coming, John. Yeah. Kings are coming. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And so last show, if you're listening to the recorded version here, uh, and you didn't listen to Samuel chapter 1, go back. Because we read Cham- Samuel chapter 1 and most of Samuel 2. Right. Uh, in the uh, the prayer by Hannah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's rejoicing and giving God glory. Isn't it awesome? It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You really see someone's heart when they sing to the Lord praises. And that's what we should do. It's not about us. but It's you, oh God. You're so wonderful. Samuel chapter 2. It's interesting here. Wait a minute. I'm a little confused with Samuel. Wait, this is Samuel chapter 1. Yes. First, Sam, this is first and second Samuel. First and second Samuel. So this is first Samuel chapter two. First Samuel chapter two. Why is it? Because there's two books of Samuel. Oh, first Samuel and second Samuel. Or now, that would have been nice to know, Brian. Uh, well, I. I didn't want to spoil. <laughs> okay, to spoil. Off here, I. Yeah, oh, I'm like, I was just I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I confused by this? Okay, first Samuel chapter two. Is what this is. Right. Okay. Got That's it. the one in front of Samuel. All right. Okay. But look at this, though. Then Hannah prayed, My heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have an answer for my enemies. I rejoice because you rescued me. No one is holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. No rock like our God. Beautiful. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. All right. Uh, dear Lord, we'll pray it out here. Uh, uh, thank you so much for um, this amazing chapter. And, and Hannah, just having so much faith in you, going right to you and praying to you and crying out to you. Um, we all need to do that every single day. Hannah's a great example here. Uh, we're so blessed that Hannah has a, a child, Samuel, and uh, so blessed that uh, Eli, the Levite, has taken Samuel in to guide him and to raise him, uh, which is such a blessing. I, I just really hope that Eli falls to his face for Samuel chapter 3 and uh, lives for you, God, and does what's right. Uh, so much learning here as we read, how we need to go to you, how you are always first, how we need to uh, not blend in with the world and um, have the world change our hearts. We need to keep our heart in your word. Thank you so much. Amen. Well said. Amen. All right, guys. We'll see you back. Have a great day.